What's up guys, this is Val from Cinema 4D Tuts and I've got a tutorial for you today. Um, I'm a, as you can probably see, uh, as this is on Yash GFX, I'm a Yash GFX director and partner um, and I haven't actually posted a video on this channel for quite a while because um, I've had exams and you know school obviously takes priority and I haven't really had time to make uh, an extra video like a for this channel um, as I've been trying to you know just keep my channel going as well uh, but now I actually have do have time as I've just finished my mocks got some pretty good results back and time to make you a tutorial and so as you can probably tell by the title uh, or the name of the video it's called cloner object and I'm just gonna teach you the basics of the clo cloner tool because most people know that it's actually there but not a lot of people well yeah not a lot of people know actually what you can do with it and how all the different options and stuff so that's what I'm aiming to teach you today so let's just get the cloner tool you can go into MoGraph and then go cloner and this thing will pop up and as you because it's a it's a I can't remember what they're called one of the like a not an effector but it's the reason you can't see anything is because you have to actually have some geometry for it to be effect to effect so we're just gonna add something basic like a square we're just gonna pull that into the cloner by seeing the arrow and then we, we can make the square about make it nice and small oops not small not big um, <laughs> 50 by 50 by 50 should be enough um, and as you can see because a cloner it creates like a kind of a stack of them and here you can control the count of the uh, clones the copies but as you can see there are five because it doesn't the copies don't include the original obviously so yeah uh, but actually yeah oops no that's my bad uh, it, it does actually do it. Uh, so yeah, four. So let's let's stick with five. Actually, get an odd number. Um, so, and as you can see, this part here is called the amount. And this, what this does is it controls the gap, like uh, how far the bottom of each square is to the top. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, so the the endpoint and uh, per step are pretty do the same thing basically. Uh, so and the offset, as you can see, it tell it shows the offset is from where the original cube is and where the next which where how far it pushes that cube away and all the copies with it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and as you can see, there are different options here. So there's linear, which are just on, which means line. Uh, then there's radial. You can control the radius of the from the center point. Um, as you can see, there's a p pentagon is formed here uh, when the radius is just there. Uh, so you can create some pretty cool abstract shapes of this. Which I'll show you in a sec how to do with the spl splines, uh, and and you can still increase the counts here, and it can create some pretty cool, interesting shapes. Uh, yeah, and then there's grid array, which load, which is you know a lot of people use for the basic speed arts. You'll see a lot of that in speed arts. I haven't actually been seeing a, that much of them recently, which is kind of ironic. Uh, but here you can control the amount the amount of clones on the x axis. Yeah, the x axis. So that's just you can have three going this way, and then for the the y you can increase that just to two I and mean decrease it, and then the z you can have like however many you want. So there, you can have like different numbers. 
um, which is actually pretty cool and then you can bring it close together if you want so yeah that's the basic parts of the clone um, now you can obviously do more with it that's, we're just going to take the an Akima spleen uh, which I think used to be called a Bezier uh, now let's go into your right view and you draw some random shape like that mm, no, that doesn't look great let's, let's make a new one <laughs> Um, bam, 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 and then there. It's just a random shape, nothing great. Um, now, you can do two things with this if you want. You can add an extrude nerbs or a sweep nerbs. I'm just going to quickly show you the extrude nerbs. What the extrude nerbs does makes, and then, uh, makes it kind of a whole 3D object. You can drag this into the cloner. And let's just put this back to radial. And as you can see, you get some, you get a pretty cool looking object. Um, you could use this for modeling. It kind of looks, if you put a bit more thought into it, you could probably make the propellers of an airplane at the front just by pretty quickly using this technique. And if you want to make them a bit thicker, that pulls them back and then this would make them you know longer but yeah but this actually makes the actual propellers or whatever you want to call them thicker so that actually looks pretty cool um, so now I'm going to show you the sweep nerves sweep nerves just takes the points of the takes the actual line you drew and makes it visible to see uh, once you you know you add, add the materials and everything uh, and it's it can you can use them for kind of wireframe effects as well which are usually pretty cool um, so yeah I hope I've uh, explained everything to your liking uh, hopefully I've done you some good Hopefully you've learned a few new things today. Um, and be sure to subscribe to us, uh, Cinema 40 Tuts. Click the link below in the description. And just jump onto our channel. You can watch some of our speed arts tutorials. And we're even, we've done a couple of unboxings recently. As you can hear, um, I'm actually recording this with my new mic so the blue yeti so be sure to come check out our channel we're always posting videos and yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to me and yash gfx if you haven't already so yeah goodbye